For this book, you will need a sheet of paper, a hole punch, rubber band, cinnamon stick, chopsticks or a plastic spoon, paper for the cover, and a sheet of labels. This is a storybook in which you can record a story from the kitchen, a family story. And it's a, it's a simple book with a pretty cover, but it has a really fun uh, binding. In this one, I've used chopsticks, but um, you can use a cinnamon stick, uh, you can use a pencil, you can use a plastic fork or spoon, you can use various things, and I'll show you how you can do that and make a fun book. So we start with our piece of paper and we fold it uh, long side to long side. Again, the corners meet the corners and we make nice sharp crease. And tear the paper in half. Or you can cut it with scissors. And then we stack the two pieces, line them up and fold it in half. Then we use paper for the cover. Now this is paper I found that is really fun. It has texture. It's handmade paper from Asia. It's made with mango leaves yeah, put into the pulp. So you can actually see the inclusions, the little bits of leaf and stuff in the paper. So if you go to an art supply store or a craft store and find some beautiful paper, you can definitely use it as part of your story. So we take the piece of paper, the long, we cut it, um, cut it to the height of your book because it's going to be the cover and then you fold it in half and then we will put the book inside. Fold it in half and make a nice crease. Then we put the folded edge of the book into the folded edge of the cover. And you'll notice that the cover is much longer than the book. And we need it to be longer because we are going to fold it over kind of like a dust jacket that you would get in like a library book or something. So we do that on the back and then we flip it over and fold the extra cover paper over the other side. So we have this. Now what we're going to do, it's only three sheets of paper. If you're using a cinnamon stick, you need to mark where you're going to punch the holes because the holes should be, the distance between the two holes should be shorter than the cinnamon stick. If it's bigger, then your stick won't hold it. Won't. So I've made the two hole marks there. Okay, so we have the two holes here that's gone through all the sheets of paper and we take the one end of the rubber band and send it in through the hole and that is where we will stick the cinnamon and then pull it taut in the back. Then from the back we put the other end of the rubber band through to the front and pull it so it wraps around the bottom of the cinnamon stick. Now you can also do this if I, the story I wrote in this green book is about faux Fridays when we go to have faux and you can do the same thing you can use chopsticks if your story is about a Chinese restaurant or some Asian food that you like to eat or a recipe you can put the chopsticks in through the rubber band Pull the rubber band taut, bring it in the front, and then wrap it around the chopsticks. I want to show you this example of a story that I wrote in this book, a story from the Mazumdar family. Every Friday evening, the Mazumdars get a call from their friend Anne Marie. Megan wants to know if it's Faux Friday. Yes, it is. So off we go. The manager of the restaurant knows us well. The usual, we say, one number seven, 
one number 22, one number 14, he points at Anne-Marie, Sush and Jay. One summer roll, one spring roll, and one veggie foe. He points at Ari, Nanya, and Maggie. We are noisy and restless until the food arrives. Then all is quiet and everyone eats. And there's a picture of my son who loves the pho um, with the bean sprouts and the lime and all those things and the summer rolls. So that is a tradition in our family. Every Friday we go out with our friends and this is what we do. <laughs> so you can think of a story like that. You could get a family recipe and write it in your book. Something somebody made for you on a special occasion. Um, you can write a story about a family feast or a barbecue. That's the kind of stories I would suggest you can share in this book.